Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. To this day, it is still recognized as one of the marvels of engineering. 200 years ago this week, construction began on what would become America's first super highway, connecting Lake Champlain behind me to the Great Lakes, New York City, and the world. Welcome aboard. The Lois McClure is a replica of the type of schooner that sailed the Champlain and Erie canals during the late 1800s. A ship built to resemble the wooden canal boats from that era, like the General Butler, one of the historic shipwrecks that sits at the bottom of Lake Champlain. Literally, this boat's 14 and a half feet wide. The locks were 15. You had three inches oh. on each side of this boat when they slid in. The ship, built by the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum, began a 100-day trip this past week celebrating the bicentennial of the construction of the canals that New York Governor DeWitt Clinton began on the 4th of July in 1817 in Rome, New York. 200 years later, the ship is making stops and giving tours in communities like Fort Edward. My great-grandfather worked on the canal with the mules. No kidding. Uh, the crew shares the history of how the opening of the 63-mile Champlain Canal in 1823 and the much longer 363-mile Erie Canal just two years later were considered engineering marvels. It's an incredible feat of engineering. You think about the technology available in 1817. Uh, the surveying that had to be done, the, the hills that had to be surmounted, the swamps that had to be traversed, uh, it was largely done on the, the backs of human beings uh, and animals that took the brunt of the labor. Uh, and yes, it's an amazing story. And it led to a new era of commerce on Lake Champlain and across New York. I say New York State, but Vermont benefited from this as well. Burlington grew to the third largest lumber handling port in the country by the latter part of the 19th century because of this canal. It was a New York State project, there's no doubt. But as you traverse through New York State and you go out the I-90 corridor, guess what you're following? It's the original Erie Canal corridor, which the railroads followed after that. Uh, and it's linking community after community along the way. Every one of those communities along that corridor have some kind of connection with this canal. It was a public works project that exceeded even the most ardent supporters expectations. So uh, it was very contentious when it was proposed. A lot of people did not want to fund it, build it. It's only going to benefit sections of the country that aren't us. New York City initially was against it. When it was completed, it changed the fortunes of New York State and made New York City the most powerful city in, in the world. The Lois McClure will spend the rest of the summer making stops along the Erie Canal to mark the 200th anniversary, including a big celebration in Rome, New York, next Saturday on July 22nd. You can find a schedule of events and what communities the ship is visiting, as well as a link to a blog about their journey along the Erie Canal. It's all on our website at mountainlake.org. And we'll be broadcasting a documentary on the building of the Erie Canal coming up on September 12th at 8 p.m. here on Mountain Lake PBS. You can get a sneak peek now on our website.